as of uh, how they portrayed as in movies or as it portrayed here? Here, 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 here will uh, for the most part. I think they. I guess it depends on what sport it is. They think they're full of themselves. I think they're full of themselves. I don't believe that athletes uh, get special attention. Um, I just think a lot of times, a lot of athletes, they, uh, they tend to go to the teachers, you know, try to have, ask for help. You know, uh, our schedules are very busy. And um, with our schedules being busy, you know, we have less time to actually do uh, schoolwork as a normal student will have work and then have all the free time with athletes. You're tired after workouts, you're tired after practice, and we don't really have a lot of time to do a lot of things, so that makes it difficult on us. But we talk to teachers and see if they can work with us, and a lot of times they work with us, so it's not really special attention. Pretty sure if normal students would go and ask the teachers for a little help, a little uh, work to, uh, to help their grade out, then I'm pretty sure they will help too, but they don't act, they don't do that, and they just see athletes as getting everything that they want when it's not like that. We're, uh, we're struggling just as hard as they are. Some people think athletes are just handed everything throughout high school and college. This includes teachers passing athletes in order for them to participate in their sports. Here at UTEP, athletes are required to have at least a 2.0 GPA to play. Others believe that student athletes are lazy when it comes to their academics, when in reality, a lot of the athletes put in a lot of effort in their education as well as their sports. Many students have felt that student athletes are self-absorbed. There may be a few conceited student athletes just as there are going to be a handful of cocky non-athletes, but this gives no reason for all student athletes to be given a negative label. wake up every morning like around five o'clock and then we probably finish like around nine o'clock at night so it's like a full-on it's like a two full-time job so um i don't think we get special treatment because a lot of hard work goes into it, the things we do every day athletes having their uh, athletic responsibilities the same as a regular student would to having a job responsibility. Most athletes put in up to 40 hours a week uh, just putting in work, whether it be in the weight room, film study, and all these things are really to design a product that it will be purchased by fans at the end of the year. So really it is a job. There is an economic uh, side to all this. Now if you really add up what they're receiving a month, most athletes in El Paso earn around $750 a month in addition to their scholarship. The scholarship is just, you know, that's great, but actually money that they get in their hands, $750 a month. If you really do the math, that adds up to maybe $4 an hour. So they're getting paid under minimum wage for the amount of work they put in. Yeah. 
Many athletes are focused on possibly having a future in sports after college. This creates a lot of pressure to perform in sports and in school, just as many regular students are pressured to do well in school so they can get a degree and a future job.